Well, we're back again with the KZ440, and I'm doing a mock-up. Assembling all the parts on it and doing the final welding, adjusting, cutting, whatever is necessary to, to graft the pieces onto this bike. See, we've got the engine dropped in there now. I've got the handlebars attached as I would like them. The tank is now solid and mounted. Um, when I say solid, it's solid as far as rubber mounts. It's actually going to have rubber mounts on it, so it'll be just a little bit of play in it. That's the original engine. It is a little, little well, kind of a lot of bit corroded. Not really pitted or dented horribly. This can all be polished out of it. So I'm going to work on either polishing it up or just painting the whole thing and then polishing up the highlights on this motor. So I'll be working with that. Um, I did put some lower springs on there. I dropped them from the 5 inch springs down to the 3 inch springs, which now I think is too low. So as I was saying before, 4 inch is probably where it needs to be, and that's what I need to do. I actually found a cheap set on Amazon, and uh, they were supposed to be 4 inch, and they sent me 3 inch. They're a bunch of idiots over there. <laughs> on the tail light, tail light is a Model A glass tail light. You might have seen these online. Um, it is a Chinese replica. It's not an original Model A taillight by any means, but it is glass. And I thought that was kind of nice. So I did put that on there. The uh, taillight wires are going to run up inside the frame. I'm not going to have any exposed wires running up this, this here. Um, I'm going to try to hide all the wires and control cables and everything wherever possible. If I can drill a hole in the frame and run it through, or if I can... Um, run them up underneath the tank or something. I'm going to be hiding all the wires if I can. So, there is the chopper. There's where we are on it. Those are the stock KZ440 mirrors. And, um, I kind of like them on there. And since I know my dad is going to want some mirrors, I just decided to go with them. They're not too big or gaudy. And, uh, they're chrome. They're nice. And they're in good shape. I haven't broken them, which is a good thing. I was a little worried I was going to bust them. Um, the controls... Right there, the uh, brake fluid leached out of the uh, master cylinder here and got all over everything and just totally screwed up the paint on these things. But they are made from metal. Uh, these are aluminum, including the switch. And you don't see that on bikes anymore. Nowadays, this is all made from plastic. So I was able to disassemble it, just sandblast it. And then I rubbed it down with a nice uh, thin coating of, um, of uh, lubricant. Uh, I forget what it was, some kind of silicone or something, just to, to make it repel water and stop the corrosion. But uh, I thought they, they turned out pretty good. Um, everything that you see on there is actually uh, cast into it. So all these labels being cast into it makes them, yeah, I'm getting it dirty, makes it beautiful as it sits. And um, it doesn't need any painting or anything on there. So I'm going to leave them au naturel. I rather like the look. And I think I just might paint the tank the aluminum color, just the same. I kind of like to leave it bare metal, but I know my dad won't care for that much. Not his thing. Uh, let's see. I got exhaust pipes for it. I've got them put away. I'll dig them out later and mock them up. Um, since they're going to install just like factory pipes, uh, I don't need to worry too much about that. I just need to make sure that everything else was going to fit. One of the other things I need to worry about, of course, is a chain. I need to get that ordered soon. That is an enormous chain. It's going to be almost two feet longer than a stock chain. So, <laughs> that's tremendous. The uh, center stand, I've mentioned it before. I might remove it, or I might just shorten it. It is a rather useful thing to have when you are changing a wheel on this uh, bike, or any bike for that matter. So, it may stay there. Uh, we'll decide what I'm going to do in the future on that one. But, that's where we're at. I thought this thing looks pretty damn cool. I'd ride it. So when Dad's tired of it, it's gonna be mine. <laughs> and there it is. Coming together.